Hey guys, this is Lego Man 7777 I'm doing a review on the special edition pirate tank. 372 pieces, ages 8 to 14. You got Obi Wan, Turk Falso, Hondo, she's right here, and of course, special edition. This is a Target exclusive set for 40 bucks. Showed you, I'll show you the features. And then you got your Y Wing, Seppi Shuttle, and Echo Base. Okay. Starting with the minis. Again, like we usually. You got Obi Wan. He's the same as from the gunship, except he's got a semi-chrome lightsaber. Okay, you got Turk Falso. He's got two classic pistols from forever ago. And as you can see, he's even got detail on the back of his head. I think that's pretty cool. And I got a spare pistol with my extra pieces. And finally, the pirate leader. You have Hondo Anika with old time sword. He too has detail on the back of his head. I just think that's pretty cool. I got actually an extra classic sword as well. I'd show you, but then I'd have to go get them, and I don't feel like it. Okay, on to the pirate tank. It's a pretty big set, nine inches long. As you can see, it's got wheels underneath for easy movability. It's a fairly hard build. You got your swivel cannon that goes from left to right, and it goes up and down. Which, with a push of this button right here, you fire your two semi-automatic flick fires. And, okay, i put the flick fires back. In the back, you got two more flick fires. Can't fire them like this. Yay, the phone's ringing again. Okay, I'll forget about that. Okay, if you can see the missiles. There. You got two back there to flick fire. And you got your two big engines. Uh, I read some reviews on this thing, which I usually do on most of the Clone Wars sets before I get them. And it says, uh, some people say there's these two pieces in the back that fall off. I have no idea what they're talking about. No pieces in the back of mine ever fall, fell off yet. Okay. So with a touch of a lever back here, you push up and then your, your little area opens where you can put your prisoner or uh, just a random dude who wants to chill in the back of the pirate tank. Then you just put them in there like this, and you close the doors like that. Not bad, if I do say so myself. That's my favorite part. And then it comes up. That is why there's no interior for it. And then, of course, you know, Hondo goes here. And then you got your two pirates in the pirate tank, and then Obi Wan can be all like, like this. And there you go. Then you have pretty much your box picture, except for that Turk Falso is trying to shoot at Obi. Okay. Take the people out. Okay. 
time for the comparison today. The droid comparison is the AAT. Okay, so the pirate tank is a little longer than the AAT. I say an inch and a half probably. And they're just about the same width. The AAT might be slightly wider. And then the AAT is just a smidge taller too. Not that much. So they're pretty much equal. Okay, that's the droid. Pretty much the same. The clones is another one of their another tank to go with it. Republic fighter tank. Fighter tank and the pirate tank are just about the same length. I think the pirate tank has like a fourth of an inch. The fighter tank is a little wider and you can clearly see it's a little taller too. Otherwise, they're pretty even too. Alright, my final rating is as you and I would call them or whatever. The pirate tank if you can find it, it is well worth the $40 you spend to get it. Well worth $40. The build is good. It's fairly hard. It's a decent build. Um, I just think it looks pretty cool. And uh, I was just at Target the other day. And um, I just... I went to go look at the Legos like I usually do to see what Target has and I compare it to the Walmart and the Toys R Us. Went to Toys R Us yesterday too and they had everything. Um, the Target, <coughs> not the Target close to me, but the Target a little out of my way because we were down in Merritt Island. The Target, we were there, had the Venator, the Y-Wing and the Tank Droid. Did not have the Separatist Shuttle. I also had Echo Base in the Endor battle. I can't, I just couldn't uh, get the Endor battle or the Venator because uh, of some financial problems that my mom can't give me the money I earned. So I'll just get that at some later date. I will get it though, so, and review them. Also, the Mon Calamari thing. Saw that at Toys R Us. It's an okay looking set. A little overpriced. But otherwise, this is a great set. And I'd highly recommend you getting it if you can find it. Um, before I end the review, I'd like to show you some people that are going to be in a, new mo in a new little series I'm making called Squad 7. Here's the leader. the machine gunner they all have black somewhere on them either part of their leg or their arm is black you got the sniper and the pilot oh the orange guy with the machine gun he was also the medic and uh... the heavy gunner with the rocket launcher and gun and probably add another gun with him I would tell you their names, I just forget what they are at the moment and I put the paper somewhere else. I haven't used these guys in a while. Just thought I'd show them off with the pirate tank. So, thanks for watching.